So I just gained some clarity on sleep paralysis and I wanted to share that with y'all. If you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's basically when you wake up, your mind wakes up, but your body is still asleep. So you feel paralyzed. Some people will see dark figures when they're in their state. Some people will hear noises. It's also often referred to as night terrors or night paralysis as well. I'm explaining this to y'all from a spiritual and a scientific perspective of what is actually happening, but I need y'all to be curious before y'all critical. Now, first thing you need to understand is we have a physical body, which is our chemical body, but we also have a light body, which is our astral body. Now, our astral body is actually housed in our third eye. You also need to understand that we have two minds. We have a conscious mind and we have a subconscious mind. Our conscious mind powers our physical body. Our subconscious mind or our subconscious will powers our astral body. You also need to know that whatever happens to the physical body happens to the astral body. And you also need to know that there are astral senses and there are physical senses. Our physical senses are taste, smell, touch, all of that. Our astral senses are clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience. So in the simplest form, what is actually happening when you're going through sleep paralysis is that your astral body is actually trying to project out of your physical body. Whether you're conscious or unconscious of this, this happens every single night when you go to sleep. So what is actually happening in sleep paralysis is that you wake up during this process where your astral body is still in your body, in your physical body, and it has not completely separated. Now, your body is asleep, but your consciousness is awake. The reason why you see figures or you hear noises is because you are actually functioning from your astral body. So you have full access to your astral senses or your psychic senses. So it's really important in this moment to control the way that you feel because you are in your astral body. And when you're in your astral body, your feelings really create your reality. So everything that you're seeing or you're hearing is of your own creation. Now, sleep paralysis usually affects people who are dealing with extreme fatigue, illnesses, or people who have a nervous strain, which is stress. Why does this affect this group of people the most? Um, on a scientific side, neurosis is a mental disorder that's caused by repressed trauma and anxiety. Whereas on an energy standpoint, it's your body's, meaning your physical and your astral body's, inability to obtain energy. So to bring it full circle, your astral body and your physical body does not have enough energy to separate. You wake up in the middle of this process and because you have not been taught about the astral body, you don't know what to do. So you initially start to try to move your actual body, but your conscious mind is not awake because there's a delay between your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. So Taja, what can I do in this state? Well, you're operating out of your subconscious mind. So if you just want to astral project, you just imagine yourself floating to the ceiling because your subconscious mind is in control and it can actually do that. If you want to get back in your body, you have to have a strong intention, but you need to be in a relaxed state. And you basically say, I would like my fingers to move. I would like to wake up. I'm going to put part two in the comments. First, we need to understand what the conscious and subconscious mind do. So the conscious mind is like your thoughts, your critically thinking, your opinions, your ideas, stuff like that. And it also powers your physical body. It tells your body to move. Before you're about to go somewhere, you have to think about it first. And then your body starts moving in that direction and then you can relax. Say you're standing with a group of friends and y'all decide, okay, it's time for us to walk to the concert. And the concert is two miles away. Your conscious mind is what tells you to start walking. However, as you're walking and you get in this relaxed state, your unconscious or subconscious mind takes over because your body kind of goes into this autopilot. So it's like the same idea of if you're driving home Home for work and you don't remember to drive home but you know that you was driving so yes you can be unconscious and conscious at the same time because you have two separate bodies that are working right so say you're walking towards the concert and you're not paying attention you go to step in the middle of the street and your friend screams your name because a car is coming the reason why you feel that breathlessness is because your subconscious mind and your astral body continues to walk as your physical body stops and jolts and because your astral body was not prepared to actually stop you are experiencing a little bit of separation now your subconscious will or your subconscious mind is actually powering your astral body or your light body but the other thing you need to understand about the subconscious mind is what's stored there if you ever see the movie inside out it's your fears it's your past trauma it's your repressed emotion so when you are using the astral body, the astral body is powered by the subconscious will. That's why it's important for you to do shadow work because those fears and those traumas and those repressed emotions actually come to the top if you have not dealt with them. And that's why sometimes you'll see a dark figure. You'll see, you know, an incubi. You'll see anything around you that kind of terrifies you or scares you or you'll see something come up and try to hold you down. Those things are of your own creation. That's what I'm saying. You also need to understand that what happens to the astral body happens to the physical body. When you're actually in your astral body, you can feel your heartbeat in the back of your head if you pay attention. So your heartbeat can be felt in either body. It doesn't matter what body you're in, right? 
right? Soaking your breath as well, though. So if you take a deep breath in the astral body, you are also taking a deep breath in the physical body. This is important when we're talking about neurosis because it's your body's inability to keep energy. But from a scientific standpoint, it's caused by repressed emotion and trauma. So how do I fix this so I stop going through sleep paralysis? One, you have to deal, do shadow work, deal with your past, deal with your traumas. Because if you don't, it's going to keep pumping anxiety in your body. And when we have anxiety hormones in our body, it represses melatonin. So it affects your circadian rhythm and your ability to go to sleep. Now, if you don't get enough sleep, then your body is not able to recharge its life force energy, which is housed in our sacral chakra. How do we make sure we have enough energy? One, get in the sun, sun gazing, sun uh, bathing. Two, eat foods that are electrical. You are an electrical being, especially if you have melanin, which conducts electricity. Eat foods that come from the earth. Put your feet in the ground. Breath work, meditation, yoga, sing, dance.